seventh grade lesson 64. This is on adding signed numbers. Now, I'm just going to show you real quickly how you're used to doing signed numbers on the number line. Whoops. Ooh, that's ugly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now, for example, if I did negative 2, and they're going to put these in parentheses just to help us, plus a negative 3, watch what happens. Remember, negatives are always going to the left and positives are always going to the right. So if I want to go, zero is my starting point. If I'm going negative 2 to the left, 1, 2, plus a negative 3 to, um, to the left again, 1, 2, 3, what do I end up at? Negative 5. You see how we did that? Mm -hmm. Alright, well what if we had a negative 3 and a, or a negative 2 and a positive 3? What would our answer be? Well, let's do it this time. Negative 2, 1, 2, but then we're going to go positive 3. 1, 2, 3, and what do we get? A positive 1 answer. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, you're going to learn today how to do it without a number line because your numbers are going to get big. Okay? So, <laughs> here's what I want you to write down. Um... Signed numbers, adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting signed numbers. That's basically what you want to write. Adding, adding and subtracting signed numbers. Signed numbers mean negative and positive numbers. Subtracting. Signed numbers. Gotcha. Okay. Are you ready for this? If you have the same, I'll explain what I mean, same sign, you're going to add the numbers, write this rules down. If you have the same sign, I'm going to explain to you what that means, you're going to add the numbers and take that sign. And I'll explain to you what I mean. For example, negative 4 plus a negative 3. Are these have the same sign? Yes, they're both negative. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add the numbers. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then I'm going to take that sign. What sign? The negative sign. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to put a line under that one because this next rule is going to be different. If you have different signs, make sure you're writing this down. You're going, you have different signs, you are going to subtract. Isn't that weird? And then you're going to take, oh, subtract the numbers. I'm going to write that down. Subtract the numbers and take the sign of biggest number. Now, write that down and I'll explain to you what I mean. I'm just rewriting this. Okay? You got it? All right. Now let's do one of these problems. Go ahead and finish writing it. Other people are writing it too. Okay? Got it. Okay, now. So this one was the same sign. Negative 4 plus a negative 3 made us add the numbers. 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then take that sign. Negative number. Okay, this one, different sign. Now, I'm going to just make one of these different. So I'm going to use the same numbers, 4 and 3. Negative 4. And I'm going to say plus, I'm going to say a positive 3. So, different signs. Negative and a positive. And sometimes this plus won't be there to show a positive number. If it doesn't have a positive sign, it still means that that number is positive. Got it? So, if I have different signs... A negative and a positive, what am I supposed to do? Subtract. 
correct the number. Okay, what is 4 minus 3? Uh, 1. 1, okay, so now stay with me. 1. But it's negative 4. And then take the sign of? The biggest. Which one's my bigger number? 4. 4 is my bigger number. Well, it's negative, negative 4, though, isn't it? I know, but we're just looking at just the number. Okay. What's your bigger number? 4. And then what's that sign? Negative. Okay. Now, if I actually did these on a number line, let's look at this real quick, okay? For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are negative numbers. These are positive numbers. If I went negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I went plus another negative 3, 1, 2, 3, I end up at negative 7. Let's look at this one. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a positive 3, which means you go to the right, 1, 2, 3, what do I end up with? A negative 1. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you got your, your answers and how you do this? Mm -hmm. Those are the rules. Okay, you're going to try to remember or memorize these rules because when numbers get really big, you're not going to be able to do them on a number line or you'll spend forever <laughs> writing to 57 to then take away 84, and that's too much, okay? So let's do some problems, ready? Negative 54 plus a negative 78, okay? Do I have same signs or different signs? Uh, same signs. Same signs, what am I supposed to do with same signs? Um, I don't know, where? No, you can look at it, same signs. Uh, I don't see that one that says that. Oh, all right. No. Okay. Did you write it? Oh, yeah. Right here. This. Add this. Yes, you're exactly right. So you're going to add, since they're the same sign, we're going to add the numbers. I'm not talking about the sign. We're going to just add the numbers. So what is 78 plus 54? Uh, 132. So, so far, my answer is 132. But then what does it say to do once you have added those numbers? Then what do you do on your rules? And subtracting? No, no. Add the numbers and then do what? Take away the sign. Take that sign. Not take away. You're going to take that sign. What sign do we have? Uh, the negative. Negative. We're going to take that sign. We're going to keep, I guess you could say. Yeah. Maybe it's better to write a keep. Okay? Do you understand what we just did? Mm-hmm. So, if you have same... Signs, you're going to add the add number them. and you're going to take that sign, keep that sign. Yeah. Okay, let's do what if they were positive numbers. Now I could put a plus here if I wanted to. Okay, what am I going to do? I have same signs. I'm going to add the numbers 132, 132, and then I'm going to keep that sign. Mm -hmm. Positive 132. Now, you don't always, especially as you get older, and you keep doing math, they're not going to put the plus signs anymore. They're just going to assume when you see a number and it's positive. Okay? Got it? Okay, right, let's try a few more just to make sure you're getting it. Ready? Here we go. Um, positive 45 plus a negative 67. Same or different? Uh, different. Okay, and what is the rule if you have different? Uh, you subtract. Subtract the numbers, okay? So we're not paying attention to the negative and the positive yet. You're just subtracting just the numbers. 67 and 45 makes 22, okay? 22 is our answer, but once you, we subtract... You keep the sign with the biggest number. Okay, which one is the biggest number, 67, 67. or 45? 67 has a... a negative. So the answer is negative. negative. Isn't that cool? It's kind of fun. All right, let's do another one. All right. Negative 92 plus a positive 92. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if they're different, what are you going to do? Yeah. Different signs. Oh, you, you subtract them. Okay. 92 minus 92 is zero. zero. Okay? And you take the sign of the biggest number, they're both 92, so nothing but, happens. But positive 92 is bigger than negative 92. Yeah, but if you have 92 and then you take away 92, you're going to end with zero. But it said take the one with the biggest number. Technically, positive 92 is bigger. Yeah, remember, you're not looking at the... You're just looking uh, at just the number. Okay. So zero 
Zero has no negative or positive, so it yes. just stays you can't zero. Have negative zero. There is negative zero, and there is no positive zero. It's just zero. Okay? Got it? Yep. Feel like you understand it? Yep. Let's see if that's one. All right. Now, they're going to even make it a little bit harder. All right, so stay with me. Negative three plus a negative two plus a positive seven plus a negative four. Okay, so guess what I did? Now there's two ways of doing this, but I think it's just easier to go left or right. Okay, so let's just do the first two. Are they are they the same or different? Oh, they're the same. They are the same, and when they're the same, what do you do? You add them. Add them. Three plus two is five. Okay, and after you add them, what do you do? Subtract. Take. Oh, you take the. Keep the sign. Keep the sign. Keep that sign. Negative five. That's that answer. I'm going to bring everything else down. Plus positive 7 plus negative 4. Now I'm going to keep everything in parentheses just because they like it. Okay? Now we're going to keep going from left to right. Now let's do this. Same or different? Different. Different you? Uh, subtract. What's 5 from 7? Uh, 2. Uh huh. Okay? And I'm going to take the sign of the biggest, biggest number. Which is 7 or 5 bigger? Seven and 7 is a positive, so I'm going to put a positive with it. There's my answer. I'm going to bring everything else down. Plus negative 4. Positive 2 and a negative 4. Mm -hmm. Same or different? Different. Different means you're going to what? 4 from 2 or 2 from 4? Oh, it's 2. It's 2, and you're going to take the sign of the biggest number. Is 4 or 2 bigger? So negative 2. Negative sign is bigger. 4 is bigger. Very good. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Or, if you don't like that way, guess what you can do? What? You can put all of your negative numbers together. Mm -hmm. And let's go on and add those. Negative 3 plus negative 2 plus negative 4. Since they're all the same, we can add 3 plus 2, 5 plus 4 is 9. And then what are we supposed to do? Keep that sign, right? Yep. So negative. negative 9 plus, plus 7. A positive 7. Very good. Which is 16. Right? Wait, 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 wait. They're different. So what do you do? You subtract. subtract. 9 from 7 or 7 from 9 is 2. And take the sign of the bigger number. 2. Negative, negative 2. Got it? Mm -hmm. Now, I actually like that way better. Yeah, I do too. Because you just kind of... It's faster. Yeah. And even the positive 7, what if this one had plus a positive 9? Yeah, you then could have done the 7 and the 9, yeah. got your answer, and then finally finished it out. Yeah. Okay? Feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Nope. Last thing. Seems like that would be the last thing we teach, but they don't. They are going to take negative and positive fractions or mixed numbers. So, for example, negative 2 and a half plus a negative 3 and a third. Now... Here's what I want to do before we even start this. Are these the same or different? They're the same. Same. So what am I actually doing? I'm adding. And then what am I going to do once I add this? I'm going to keep that sign, right? Yep. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to write my answer as a negative number. Then I'm going to move it. And then I'm going to work the problem and give me the answer. And my answer is going to be a negative answer. Okay, so we're just going to work it like normal. Normally, you would take and make yeah, like five. the denominators the same. No, it would be six. Six. So times two, times two, which would be two, six, and then this is old learning, times three, times three. Right? Yep. So two and three, six, plus three and two thirds, two, six. Five over six, and then five and five over six. Five and five over six. And we took our negative sign. And then, so that's the answer. You got it? Mm hmm Okay. Now, they're also going to do some um, decimal numbers. Okay? For example, a positive 4.3 plus a negative 7.24. Okay? Positive 4.3 plus a negative 7.24. Now, 
Before we even start, are we going to add or subtract? Um, I've got different signs. So you subtract. Okay. And so I'm actually I'm going to change this <coughs> to show that I'm subtracting it. It had a plus there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to write subtract because it's important that you, you learn this. It needs to stay like that for a minute. Okay? So I'm going to subtract what? The numbers, right? And then what am I going to do? Once I get my answer, I'm going to take that sign. the sign that is the uh, biggest, biggest number. Yeah. Which one's the bigger number? Seven. Seven or four? Seven. Seven is. So what's my answer going to be? Uh, a negative number. Right? And now all I have to do is worry about subtracting these. So I'm going to do that. 7.24 minus 4.3. Now remember, you got to line up your decimals. Okay? Uh, 9, 2. 2.94, and I kept my negative. Okay? You can still even do that and then look up here and go, okay, which is the bigger sign? Negative, bring down negative. All right? Last thing. <laughs> On one stock trade, Tim lost $450. So what happened? He went into the negatives. Mm -hmm. He lost $450. Lost means you go into the negatives. On a second trade, he gained $800. Gained plus $800. What was the net result of the two trades? What was the result? After he finished it. So I would say, uh-oh, I went down 450 but then I went up $800. So I took away 450 but then I added 800 positive. It's just uh, so again, 800 minus 450 then. Right, but what are we doing? If we have different signs, we subtract. Subtract, okay? So let's want to do that. Subtract 450. It's going to give me... 350. 350 is our answer. But once I subtract, then I'm going to take the sign of the number. bigger number is 800. Smaller number is 450. 800 is positive. The gain is a positive $350. $350. So even though he lost 450, he gained 800, which gave him a total of 350 left in the bank. Got it? That is lesson 64.